Welcome, and in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at your fake skin that you sent in. So, well, pretty much I can just share it with everybody and, and give, my, give my thoughts on it. So, let's get to it. All right, so first up is Michael. Here's the piece Michael sent. Uh, Michael knew, used a nine round liner for lining, and I believe he used a five magnum for shading. Now Michael's been tattooing for a little over half a year now. His brother was a tattooer before he passed, and um, the process has just brought him closer to his brother. So with that being said, let's dive in and take a look at Michael's work. So as you can see here, it says swamp, we got like a crocodile here. Looks like maybe a skull over here. It's getting roped up. Now, I think the, the concept is really cool. I like how you have some black in here and whatnot. Now, again, if you're watching this, you're getting my perspective, all right? Other people have different perspectives. We all know that. My perspective is, and my thought is, you need black to separate, to give depth. And so I see you were putting black in here to try to separate bits and pieces. And you did leave a little open skin here, which is good because you need something to balance the darkness. But what I think you could have done is once you got it to this point, went back in and found areas that you could pop, that you could push the depth backwards, push things backwards and bring things forward so things are a little easier to read and see. I think there's a little bit too much um, similarity in, in the levels of shading here. And what that creates is a little bit of a murkiness where it all kind of has the same uh, level of gray wash, if you will. But again, if you look closely, I mean, the lines look fine. The shading looks nice. Again, it just comes down to maybe just put the dark where it needs to go. A lot of people get really bent out of shape putting all this white in pieces, not to say that you did that. But I think sometimes we forget that that white speaks really loud, but that black speaks really loud too. So you wanna make sure you really have those spots that are really dedicated black to help sell the image. But again, Michael, you're six months into this, solid stuff. Keep at it, keep working hard at it. Nice job, be proud of yourself, and thank you for sending it in and letting us all take a look at it. Our next piece is from Lloyd. So Lloyd originally tattooed these hexagons here a while back while he was practicing his line work. Later on, he was wanting to do some more work, remembered he had these hexagons here, and decided that he was gonna put a skull inside of those. So he's reusing a PC he worked on quite a while ago. So he kind of says, disregard the lines in, in, in the hexagon, that was from a while ago. I really am focusing on that skull, and that's what we'll focus on. Lloyd was using the CNC Q2 with the Bronx Digital Power Supply. He ran between eight and nine volts. He used a seven round hollow liner, a 15 curved mag, and dynamic black ink. I'm with you on all the stuff you use because I use the same stuff, obviously, and I like it. Now, look at this piece, man. This is dope, man. I love this thing. And why I love it is because I'm biased towards that contrast, and this has that sick contrast that I really, really like. Uh, and the fact that you you put the piece in these hexagons was just even cooler to me. It was just this really awesome concept. It came out killer. Uh, some stuff that I really, really like, again, is just this darkness here. These bits of darkness that really sell it. This mid-grade shading in here, these light tones here. Um, you could tell you're using the mag and you're shaping, you know, you're running the mag in the angle that you want it to go. I like that there's no real, there's some lining, but only where needed. So this is gonna hold really nicely. A lot of heavy black in here with this, you know, little area to breathe, to give that depth, like that's closer and that darkness is further back. And to just leave these these lighter highlighted areas empty and, and, and accurate. This light bit around the nose that separates that dark from the mid. And just a lot of nice things done here. This particular person, Lloyd, has been an artist for 30 years. So he's t learning how to tattoo and now incorporating that 30 years of, uh, of skill he's built and putting it into tattooing, which is why I think this is really cool. And this is the biggest reason why I do what I do because there are all these fantastic artists out there, like mind blowing and all they need is just a little bit of, a little of the skill, a little help to learn this trade and they will run with it. We'll be watching them 
someday on Ink Masters, whatever version they come out with, all right? This could be you doing this stuff, guys. You have the skill, you have the artistic background, just learn the skills, take your time, and you can combine the two and become a master. All right, back to the skins. Also, I see some textures in some spots, which I think is really cool, and, and I'm trying to use a bit more textures in my work now, but I really think it's cool. I'm not sure if you did or not, but some in these teeth, it kind of looks like there's little dots here and there. And in a skull, those little dots can really give you that texture that you're looking for, some dimension in those wide open areas. Again, I guess I'm a little oozing on this piece, but hey man, awesome job, Lloyd. There's not a whole lot more I can say other than I, I, would, I would tattoo this on me. I'm totally cool with this. I like this. I think you are going down the right path. Keep up. I look forward to seeing your work again in the future, man. Thank you. Okay, next up we have Mike Johnson. Let's take a look at his, why I tell you a little about him. So Mike has been tattooing for about 80 days now. The pieces that he sent in are from weeks two through four. So he's got them kind of categorized. He knows where they're at. Weeks two through four. This is just one piece. We're gonna be looking at several other pieces that he sent in. So I know Mike sent me some skins, some pretty good quality skins, a couple different brands. So we are going to do a separate video taking a look at those and seeing which one is better. We got real skin, a pound of flesh. He was really generous to send these to us. So we're definitely gonna use them. So up here in the upper left-hand corner, we have a number one, essentially indicating this was probably his first attempt. Now looking at it, I'm gonna say as a first attempt, it's far better than my first attempt, hands down. So right off the bat, Mike, awesome job. Uh, <laughs> some of these are really, this is, I laughed so hard when I saw it right here. Come on, this is just funny. Now, as you can see, he was working in a lot of different areas. This, there's a bit of detail in this little guy, especially for your first time. And you can see the line work was, was a little shaky here. But again, you're learning, and it's really cool that you sent us these pieces as well. All this, I can see the skill level is developing. You're seeing what's happening. You're working your way through it. You're filling in areas of color. You're having fun. You're seeing what you can do. And how you've practiced is also really nice. You've a piece here, a piece here, a piece here, a piece here, you know, you're really utilizing your skin. Now, when we flip it over, and again, it's still labeled number one, we have more pieces. You didn't just practice something once, there's three more of them. That is really cool, that is really cool. Um, it, it's hard to know what to practice sometimes, so I'll, sometimes we waste skin because we don't really know what we're doing with it, but I really appreciate how you went about practicing. Put a piece, you did it. Now still, the skill level is still developing. Um, you can still see these lines are a little small, a little shaky here and there. And you could use a bigger liner, a little bit bigger. This looks rather small, but that's okay. If you can practice and get good with a very small liner, it's gonna get easier as you move up. Easier as far as shakiness, breathing, the whole thing like that. So again, really cool. I can see you're working in you know, purely black here, lines, fill in. You've done these pieces several times. Okay, so this is piece number one. We're going to look at your next piece. Also, I really like this fake skin you're using here. It has a really nice feel to it. It's got a nice stretch. Anyhow, here we go. Again, just some really cool characters you're working with here. Pickle Rick, I mean, but again, this it's looking better and better. The lines are looking smoother. The color packing is nice. It's very saturated. You have some dots going in here, some smaller pieces. A lot to take in, but really a lot of good stuff going on here. It's very simple, but that is what you're working on. You're practicing simple things and that's where you're at. You're in that beginning stage. This is the stuff you wanna be working on. Getting clean lines, getting thin lines, large lines, uh, saturating color, work on a little bit of shading. So again, really nice job, man. And I still like how you're shading this. And we flip that over things get a little larger. We see the same piece we saw before, only this time colored in. You see how the skull has improved quite a bit, even added a bit of shading in there. Um, even over here, we have a lot of color in there, a little bit of shading. You can see the progression and how um, the skill level is developing as you're trying different things and get more comfortable with things. So again, nice job here. We're gonna take a look at the third piece you sent in. And here we have your third piece, at least one side of the third piece, and some more really nice stuff. Now I take a look at this piece. Very nice, smooth, 
crisp lines, especially for, for being pretty new at this. Those lines look quite well, and I know that they're only going to improve. The color up here is really nice. I, th I love the, the really bold, dark color around the outside, and then this lighter tone on the inside. There's just a lot of really nice things about it. Um, obviously filling a piece like this in full color, you probably knew it takes a little while. You need to give time for the needles to do their work and saturate the color. But again, this looks nice. It just looks, it looks good. It definitely looks good, especially 80 days in and these being from weeks two to four. You took your time, you played with it, you practiced properly, different techniques, different things. I, I'm digging this. And lastly, we flip it over and we clearly went with a little bit of some Mario stuff. Again, fun stuff, really bright. It shows that you've been practicing. Now, these lines like this, they're no easy feat at times. And we can see a little bit of stuff here and there in that in that line, a little shaky, maybe, maybe connecting spots or multiple passes, but as a whole and learning, nice work. Here we have a little bit of shading in the banana, but these pieces are very nice. They're nice to look at. I enjoy looking at them. They're fun to look at. And if they're fun and they're enjoyable and they're solid, then they're going to look good on the skin as well. I don't have a whole lot of critique because I've essentially walked through your pieces to this point and have seen the development from week, whatever that was, but skin one to skin three and both sides being filled clearly see an improvement. What I would tell you is to continue doing exactly what you're doing right here. And maybe this is your style, so continue with it if that's what you like to do. If this is the kind of art you create um, before tattooing, then continue to do that. If this is just some stuff that you wanted to practice with, practice with it, but continue to push yourself, continue to find something, pieces that are maybe a little more complex, require a little bit more shading, require a little more this, that, or the other. But hands down, very nice job. And thank you, thank you for sending it in. Thank you for the skins. And uh, we're definitely gonna be using those in an upcoming video. So I just wanna thank everybody who sent skins in. It's very much appreciated. I enjoy seeing your work. I enjoy seeing you guys um, go from A to B and the progression and seeing your work now and then maybe seeing your work later on Instagram or whatnot. It's, it's really rewarding to see what you guys can do with just a little bit of information. So again, I thank you for sending that in. And if you guys enjoyed this video, Give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and ring the bell to get notifications when we post or go live or any of that jazz. So until next time, guys, peace.